Hey everybody, this is Peter. In this video segment, we're going to configure URL filtering with GFI's Web Monitor. So we have it installed. We're going to go ahead, open up our settings here, and go into Web Filter Edition. All right, so within Web Filter Edition here, you have a few options. You can click to access the Web Filtering Policies config page, click to access Bandwidth Monitoring or Web Grade Database page. In this case, we're going to go ahead to click our web filtering page here so we can make some changes and you'll see our default policy applies to everybody so essentially you can go in there make changes to specific categories of what you want to block and what you want to allow and it will apply to everybody in the company but you can also change that as well to apply to specific groups and you can create multiple policies so we're editing right now we're in our edit settings we hit the web filtering tab and in here you'll see we have currently our allowed categories by default everything's allowed um, we can go in here and say okay let's choose abuse drugs we're going to move it over to the block categories we're going to choose the abortion category um, we'll go ahead click on a block a block we'll move that over pornography one of the biggest ones we'll move that over and you'll see now you can also scroll down and we'll scroll to the left there you have advanced options as well now in our advanced options we can create override rules so essentially the override rules allow us to um, override any of the category blocks or permits that we were just working on above so in here you can go ahead and add a condition saying that you know if it's this specific um, website will allow that um, in our categories here you can also work on your specific categories so you can get I guess more granular on what categories you want to use okay so you can move those over and use those categories as well and again from our drop down you can choose whether you want to block and quarantine block and delete and simply allow the actual um, website or websites within that category to go um, to pass through the uh, the GFI web monitor so in here again We've made our changes and then you can simply again like uh, many of the other different uh, features of this product you can go in here and apply it to specific users in this case we're going to leave it it's a basic um, URL filtering um, rule that we're creating so we're going to apply it to all users and we can hit notifications and again notify any administrator or group of administrators in IT that have uh, when a policy is broken so we go ahead and save and there you go we have our default policy that we just edited that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks very much for coming out. We'll see you on the next one.